Have you ever wondered what happens when nature meets innovation? Join us in today's adventure as we unravel the extraordinary story of Asia's largest artificial river emerging in the heart of the desert. But before we embark on this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with our explorations. Now, let's dive into the details of this ambitious project reshaping the very landscape it stands upon. Afghanistan, a nation synonymous with conflict and hardship, has surprisingly embarked on a colossal endeavor, its first mega-project, the Kosh Tepa Canal. In a country ravaged by war and poverty for over five decades, this artificial river is not only defying the odds, but also showcasing Afghanistan's determination to overcome its challenges. Astonishingly, the project is entirely self-funded, without any foreign aid or external engineering assistance. The Kosh Tap Canal stretches an impressive 285 kilometers, with a width of 152 meters and a depth of 8.5 meters, making it one of the largest irrigation canals globally. Originating from the AMU Darya River in the Balkh province, it traverses through Jalrez, Xi'an, and Faryab provinces. Surprisingly, about half of this ambitious canal has already been completed, and construction is progressing rapidly. The urgency behind this project stems from a severe water and food shortage crisis gripping the nation, especially in the arid desert regions of North Afghanistan. As the Koshtap Canal carves its path through the provinces of Jalrez, Xi'an, and Faryab, it not only symbolizes a feat of engineering, but also holds the promise of transforming the arid deserts of North Afghanistan into flourishing agricultural lands. The project's swift progress underscores its critical role in addressing the immediate challenges of water scarcity and food shortages, offering a glimmer of hope for a region long plagued by adversity. The primary goal of the Kosh Tepa Canal is to provide water to over one million Afghans and revive agriculture for thousands of farmers. The region has transformed into a barren desert due to factors, including global warming, declining groundwater reservoirs, and inadequate irrigation systems. The canal aims to convert 55,000 hectares of land into fertile farms, with a specific focus on growing grains and wheat. Afghanistan envisions becoming a wheat exporter by 2028, signaling a potential shift in the country's agricultural landscape. In its mission to revive agriculture, the Kosh Tepa Canal not only seeks to provide sustenance for one million Afghans, but also aspires to elevate Afghanistan to a position of self-sufficiency and economic prosperity. As the canal's waters breathe life into 55,000 hectares of once barren land, the envisioned transition to becoming a wheat exporter by 2028 reflects a bold stride toward food security and economic resilience for the nation. Launched in March 2022, the Kosh Tepa Canal project is being executed in three phases. The first two phases involve the excavation of the canal, while the third focuses on installing water irrigation systems and additional infrastructure. Managed by the Afghan National Development Corporation, the entire project is financed solely through government tax revenues. Initial estimates pegged the cost at $500 million, but new projections suggest an additional $100 million may be required. The phased approach of the Kosh Tepa Canal project, coupled with its emphasis on integrating comprehensive irrigation systems, reflects a forward-thinking strategy to address long-term agricultural and water resource needs. The self-reliant financing model, driven by government tax revenues, underscores Afghanistan's commitment to achieving infrastructural milestones independently, fostering a sense of national pride and sustainability. In acknowledging potential cost adjustments, the project showcases adaptive financial planning, ensuring that challenges are met with pragmatism for successfully realizing this monumental endeavor. Critics from certain Asian media outlets have questioned the construction methods, alleging mistakes and poor engineering. However, a closer look reveals meticulous planning based on intensive land surveys and soil studies. The government prioritized ensuring the canal's path was on flat land with an elevation similar to that of the AMU Darya River's source. Detailed maps and specifications guided 200 private contractors overseeing 114 sections, each extending 108 kilometers during the first phase and 177 kilometers in the ongoing second phase. To combat potential flooding during winter and heavy rainy periods, the construction included the creation of 14 hydraulic gates topped by vehicle bridges. 
Sections were strategically separated by dirt walls, controlling the filling process and preventing soil displacement. Notably, the canal's floor and sides were not lined with concrete slabs, a decision influenced by both environmental considerations and financial constraints. The incorporation of 14 hydraulic gates, complemented by vehicle bridges, reflects the project's foresight in addressing seasonal challenges, ensuring efficient flood prevention during winter and intense rainy seasons. The strategic separation of sections with dirt walls not only controls the filling process, but also demonstrates a nuanced approach, preventing soil displacement and minimizing potential environmental impact, all while adhering to the project's financial constraints. Amidst the constraints of dated equipment and a shortage of skilled engineers, the resilient workforce of Afghanistan, comprised of excavator operators and haul truck drivers, has proven instrumental in driving the success of the Kosh Tapa Canal project. The economic revitalization in nearby areas, characterized by increased employment opportunities, revived agriculture through replanted farms, and enhanced infrastructure with improved roads, signifies a positive ripple effect contributing to the overall development of the region. Contrary to unfavorable reports, the commitment to fair compensation and punctual payments for workers and contractors underscores a commitment to ethical labor practices, fostering a sense of stability and well-being within the project's workforce. A unique aspect of this project is the diverse workforce and the high level of optimism and happiness among workers, farmers, and residents in nearby areas. These communities, marred by decades of war, droughts, and poverty, are experiencing positive transformations. Another striking development is the widespread use of solar panels to power homes and workshops, addressing the lack of power infrastructure in disconnected regions. Initially slated for completion in 2028, the Kosh Tepa Canal project is progressing at an accelerated pace, with expectations of completion as early as 2025. Additional bridges and culverts are under construction, further enhancing the project's infrastructure. However, Afghanistan faces a harsh reality as it grapples with extreme sanctions, threatening the livelihoods of its 40 million residents, particularly those in rural and remote areas. The completion of mega-projects related to water management, farming, electricity, and infrastructure becomes crucial for the nation's progress and international integration. The Kosh Tepa Canal stands as a testament to Afghanistan's resilience and determination to overcome adversities. This mega-project not only addresses immediate water and food shortages, but also holds the potential to transform the nation into a productive member of the international community. As the Taliban-led government oversees this ambitious initiative, the success of the Kosh Tepa Canal raises hopes for future projects that can uplift Afghanistan from the shadows of war and hardship. Only time will reveal the lasting impact of this extraordinary endeavor on the nation's trajectory. There you have it, the story of Asia's largest artificial river, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of sustainable progress. If you found this journey through the creation of an oasis in the desert intriguing, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. For more explorations of transformative projects, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey, and until next time, keep dreaming big and embracing the wonders of innovation.